Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Lazy Couch Thoughts. In case y'all missed it, we basically had October baseball in April this week again. What? Yeah, I know. So the Dodgers and Padres played their first series of the year. Played the first three of 19. They still get to play each other 16 more times after having three incredible games over the weekend. So let's kind of jump in. Friday night, eighth inning, tied up. You know, four to four. Dodgers go in, score a run. Bottom of the eighth, Padres come back, tie it back up. Top of the ninth, Dodgers go in, score a run. Padres, bottom of the ninth, tie it back up. Then they both hold each other scoreless with the man on second extra inning rules for until the 12th inning. Then the Dodgers put up a ton of runs, like, I don't know, a lot, like four or five runs, and the Padres didn't score any, and they ended up losing. But it was a tremendous great game up to that point. It had a tremendous ending for the eighth and ninth inning. It was back and forth action. It was the only game on. Half of Twitter was up. Like, this game ended at 1.30, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, Central Standard Time. I saw dudes on the East Coast, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning over there still tweeting about it while it was happening. Like, it was just a great game, and everyone on the Internet was watching. And then you add it to the fact, okay, you know, you have one of those games, cool, whatever, but, you know, it's still just one. Oh, well, then the next night at, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning when it was happening, all the Twitter's watching it again because bottom of the ninth inning, Padres had runners on second and third, two outs, hits a line drive and kind of in, like, the center field gap area. Like, if it gets down, you know, should have scored both runs. Mookie Betts comes in, makes an incredible diving play. Like, I missed that on this team. Really missed that a lot. I really missed the second best player in baseball since 2016, 2015. But nevertheless, Mookie Betts made a great play, diving play. If he misses it, it's a tie game. It goes to extras if they don't win it right there. So, I mean, Mookie Betts made just an absolute clutch play. play. And, you know, that was another great ending. It was another very exciting, very, you know, like eyes glued to the TV ending. Everyone on social media was up talking about it. Everybody on social media was, you know, interacting still, even though it was so late at night. Then you have yesterday's game. Tie 2-2 in the eighth, you know, big spot in the game, couple outs, got a couple guys on. Tommy Fan comes up, ropes a double down the line, scores two runs. Uh, Padres ended up winning the game to avoid the sweep. And, like, it was just another close game, back and forth all game, you know. Dodgers scratch a run here, Padres scratch a run there, and then all of a sudden it's 2-2 two two in the eighth. Like, that's how this whole series was. It wasn't like, all right, we're going to put up six. Okay, now you put up seven. Like, it was like, you know, all right, like, every run was a battle. And you know what? It makes sense when you look at these pitching staffs. Whenever one team has Clayton Kershaw and Trevor Bauer going, and the other team has Blake Snell going, and I don't remember, you know, all the pitching matchups, but, I mean, the Dodgers have Walker, Walker Bueller, Dustin May, Julio Urias, um, Clayton Kershaw, you know, like all these guys. Then the Padres, once they get Lamette back, who's supposed to be coming back this week, apparently, uh, they also have Blake Snell. They have Mike Clevenger. He's out this season, obviously. Um, they also have you Darvish. He pitched a series. Like, these are great pitching matchups. They both have really good bullpens. And, man, I can't believe we get to watch this division race. Like, I can't believe we get to watch these two teams play each other 19 times this season. Because there's no doubt in my mind when I say this. I say this without any hesitation. I think they're the best two teams in baseball. I don't really think it's close. Like, it's like Dodgers, Padres, Gap... Like, the Braves, Astros, Yankees, kind of, you know, like, that's it. And speaking of the Yankees, they started off really slow. I think they're 5-11 and 11 right now. They're struggling. But uh, they're going to be fine. They're very talented. Uh, all the people saying fire Aaron Boone, y'all are just overreacting. Also, three years in by now, if you don't know that Aaron Boone isn't running that show, I don't know what to say. But anyways, Dodgers and Padres was electric. We get to watch that, we get to watch that 19 times a season, 16 more times a season. I am just ecstatic like i'm over the moon like baseball is so awesome right now it's so fun to be a baseball fan right now the amount of young exciting talent in this game like fernando tatis jr retired from injury this series and he's going deep first game back you know dead center field like yeah oh and notice he's swinging a two-hand follow through now that used to not be in his arsenal but ever since the shoulder stuff he's doing that so i don't know it was a great series i'm very excited we got to watch it it was basically like everyone was saying on uh, Friday night that was the extra ending games. It was like, you could say that this is game seven of the World Series right now and everybody would just believe you. Like it was that good of a game. It was that competitive. It was that close. And the teams were just like battling it out. And that's really all you can ask for in April divisional game. You know, like April, I think 16th it was. It was that game. Like teams don't usually duke it out like that in, you know, mid early April. It was exciting to be able to watch it. It was a treat to be able to watch it. Shout out to the Dodgers and Padres for giving everyone just a show this weekend. And, guys, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Watch a bunch of baseball. Play on be the show. 
Come check out the stream tonight. It'll be the show. Check out the description of this bio in this episode. Go check it out. Come check out the Twitch stream. It's a lot of fun. See you guys on Wednesday. Peace.